That $5 million grant just turned Bowling Green State University into an algae fighting, algae researching powerhouse. I talked to a scientist who's leading this project about what all of this means for you. It's not toxic sludge or old pea soup. It's algae, algal blooms to be precise, and they pop up in our greatest resource every single year. Because they are a type of bacteria, they produce toxins, and that's where the harmful comes from. In 2014, toxins from a bloom like this one contaminated Toledo's water supply. This past summer, they led to warnings and advisories on our local beaches. And Governor Kasich issued an executive order that made waves, <laughs> intensifying the fight against blooms in Lake Erie and the research into them. Now, a national study is being led by a local center, the BGSU Lake Erie Center for Fresh Waters and Human Health. We are the lead institution. Founded with a $5.2 million federal grant, it brings 10 universities together. They'll target the problem and come up with solutions. Dr. Timothy uh, Davis teaches exciting. at Bowling Green. Uh, a nationally recognized scientist, he's among the group leading the center there. This has really elevated the severity of these blooms. The loss of recreational, drinking, and agricultural resources in the United States because of blooms like these are worth more than $2 billion annually. Lake Erie is obviously unique, um, and some of the, the management strategies we put in place are going to be specific to Lake Erie. There are going to be some universal traits of these blooms that we can uh, apply to any system. Any system in bodies of water across the world, because we aren't the only ones dealing with problems like this. I put more information about this project and what they're working on up on our website and our News 5 app. You can also find all of my past coverage of these issues there. Reporting in Cleveland tonight, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.